that's the way. <coughs> Oh, got him. Well, that's a nice flatty, but I'm actually here looking for some brim around these docks, which can be a little bit difficult at times because the brim here at lakes, the black brim, as they are all around the country, are notoriously picky. So it's a matter of working out just what they're biting on. My fishing day started on the docks, but the plan was to jump aboard with Red. The local brim had been schooling in big numbers, but were very fussy, and it was going to take some tournament style finesse to catch them. So, Rhett, you've lived in the Gippsland Lakes all your life? Yeah, mate, yep. And fish for black brim a good part of that time, and you're actually uh, tournament fishing now too? Yeah. Yeah, the um, local publican put it to me and said, do you want to have a go? And I went, oh yeah, been wanting to do it for years, so. So the Meetung Hotel is your sponsor? Yep. And fishing for black brim, especially school fish, gee, I found it frustrating over the years. You'll see, sometimes you'll see dozens of fish and boy, it's hard to get them to bite. Ooh, That's got him. Beauty. In and out pretty quick. That's a go. That nice guy. And Grub Z on a hidden weight system. Bit of a finesse presentation. So this approach, and of course we're lucky because there's not a lot of wind but I'm just using a 20th of an ounce hidden weight system. Yep. And that little two and a half inch Grub Z, one from the uh, Z-Man range. I guess I, I like to use that too, because they're so resilient. You know, you can catch two, three, four, half a dozen fish. Yeah. And they, you know, gee, they hang onto the hook well. Yeah, they stay on, they don't. Here you go, there's a bite. Don't, don't fall to bits, that's for that. sure. The other thing too is these Z-Man are quite buoyant. Yeah. So you put a, you match them up with the right weight and you can just hang them, hang them down in the strike zone, just get them to move down ever so slowly. Interesting red. Now that I reckon sort of, I think you're really going to finesse them. I think. I mean, you could see then there was no retrieve in that at all. Yeah. Well, mate, I reckon we might be onto something there. Yeah, they seem to work pretty well, don't they? Yeah, just finesse them out with these some um, little grub Z. So you can see here with a finesse presentation, you're just not, you're just trying to float that grub horizontally. So the hidden weight jig head will allow your grub to go down through the water horizontally. Whereas if it's a head weighted jig head, it'll fall vertically. So very much a finesse presentation. And I haven't even retrieved it yet. I'm just trying to get it down probably 10, 15 feet, down there now. Move it back, float it down. Just try to get that bite. Oh. Oh. There's flashes all under yeah, the boat I there. Saw all them. Hey? There's a nice oh, fish. There's a nice fish. Oh, look at it. Him. 
definitely the guy to let it sink. Yeah. He's not bad. Nice fish. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, nice, good size bridge. Nice fish. Yeah. Happy to catch them every day of the week. Yeah. They like those grubs, don't they? Yeah, well those grubs work, Bill. The um, watermelon red seem to, to work very well. A tough brim bite often requires a soft and subtle presentation to tempt them. Using buoyant soft plastics like the Z-Man range and lightly weighted super sharp TT tournament series jig heads will help your chances dramatically. Now all I'm doing here is just monitoring the line. You can actually hold it if you want to. The brim grabs it, you'll see it just move down or maybe to either side. So I've been working on about a one minute drop to get it down to about 10 feet. It's getting there now. There it goes, look, there's a bite. He's a nice specimen. Yeah, he was down a bit too. I'd say they've been in the system a while too, mate. They're um, pretty dark. Pretty they? dark. Good fish. He's not too bad. Nice fish. Catch plenty more of them, I reckon. So for those of you who want to get amongst some finesse, soft plastic action around the docks, all you need is a six foot 10 to seven foot length rod in around about one to three kilo weighting, a 1,000 to 2,500 size thread line reel topped up with four pound braid, and finished off with a two to six pound fluorocarbon leader. Oh yes. Now Rhett, oh what a lovely fish. Have a look at that one. He's a good size, not a kilo, but well, I reckon it's the one we wanted. Good, oh got him. What a lovely black brim. That's what I was after. And today, with these little grub zeds and the hidden weight system and a horizontal approach, it worked a treat. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show. And if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.